Hey, Phil Abner with Video School Online, and in this quick Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, you're going to learn how to use adjustment layers. With adjustment layers, you can apply effects to entire tracks, entire sequences, making it really easy to adjust a big project all at once. To create an adjustment layer in Premiere Pro, just click the new item button down here, then go up to adjustment layer. It's going to create the adjustment layer to the size and dimensions of your sequence that you're working with. If you want it to be something different, you can do that by changing the width and height here. I'm just going to click OK because I want it to match this sequence. So now it's created a new item in your project panel. If we drag this over to our timeline and say we put it on top of these three beach scene clips that I'm editing, it creates this basically invisible transparent layer. It's not really a transparent layer because there's not really anything to be transparent about. It doesn't have anything in it. What we use this for is applying effects such as color correction or any sort of stylistic effect. And it's going to basically apply that effect to anything beneath this adjustment layer. So let's go ahead and just select this layer. Actually, let's go to effects and really quickly, I'm just going to type in brightness or bright and take this brightness and contrast effect and apply it to the adjustment layer. So if I go to the effects controls now and we adjust the brightness and make it a little bit brighter, a little bit more contrastier. Actually, let's make it a little bit darker actually instead. So now this is applying to this beats clip. If I move the adjustment layer away from my timeline indicator over here, it's not applying anymore. But if I go forward in time, see that it's applying to everything where this adjustment layer is. So if I had this at the beginning and I want this same sort of color correction to be applied to all three of these clips, I can put this adjustment layer over all of them, but I want to make sure that I would extend it to the end of this clip. Another thing you can use this creatively for is I'm going to move this to track three and say we have these two beach scene clips, one on top of each other. I'm going to quickly make them 50% size in the scale, copy that to this next one. And then I'm going to move this one over to the right a little bit and this one over to the left a little bit. So we have these two clips now and they're both being adjusted by this adjustment layer. So you can see that it applies to multiple tracks, which is cool if you're layering different things and they're different styles or sizes rather, and you want them to have the same effect applied to them. The other reason this is so cool is that it speeds up your workflow if you're editing, say, an interview or a documentary, and you don't want to be applying specific color correction to each individual clip. For example, with this video of me, if I go back to my project panel, notice that if I take this adjustment layer and put it on top of this video, nothing happens. It's not copying the effects that were applied to the adjustment layer that I did before to this new adjustment layer that I added to this part of the sequence. So every time you take it from the project panel, it's going to be completely fresh. So that's a good thing in most senses. If you want to copy what you've done with this adjustment layer, for example, and paste it over here. I'm also just going to show you though really quick that you can even use the Illumetri color panel to do color correction to the adjustment layer. So I can go in here, fine tune things like the whites and the blacks and the shadows. So I'm just doing something really quick so you can kind of see the difference. Let's make me super blue and cool. So now say I had this interview with lots of clips, lots of B-roll. I could put my video on one track and then say I put this B-roll, I'm talking about a beach for example, I would put the beach on top of the adjustment layer. So it's having the effects applied by this adjustment layer. Just everything beneath it is. So that would be my talking head video is, being, is having this adjustment layer applied to it. So there's lots of cool things you can do and creative ways to speed up your workflow. But basically, it's a great way to apply a quick adjustment to multiple clips at once, even up to your entire project or sequence. All right, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. As always, hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed it. If you want more tutorials like this or you have any requests, make sure you hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if you wanna take your skills to the next level, head over to videoschoolonline.com where we have free resources, articles, lots more tutorials, and even premium courses that will help you become a better creator. Thanks so much and have a beautiful day.